welcome back to another fabulous show. My name is Tony Derrick and we have a beautiful show in store for you today. We have the fabulous company Glitz Craft. Now we all know the lovely Leona, she is on Create and Craft. She creates the most amazing sparkly pastes and from today's show you're going to get a bit of MDF, some stamps, some stencils. She's a beautiful person as well as a family run company as well and we're delighted that she is here today in the How to Craft Network studio. Now she personally cannot be here, we have our fabulous guest Helen standing in the wings for us but we have some beautiful products. So what I've done is earlier in the shows there was so much product I couldn't even get it on the counter so I've taken a few bits and pieces off that doesn't mean that they're not available okay they are available on shop the show so if you love what you're seeing in the live counter please check the rest of the items on shop the show because she's put some beautiful bundles together for you so let's have a look at what is on the counter and I'm gonna have a look at item number one I'm gonna get straight into show today because Helen is gonna show you that fabulous glitter paste which um, Glitz Craft are renowned for. So let's have a look at the first item that is on the counter. I've picked this one because you all absolutely loved this one earlier. Now, if you're watching the show for the first time, my name is Tony Derrick and please click that subscribe button. We have a brand event today where we have had lots and lots of guests and presenters in studio. I hope you have had a fabulous day with us here and the team today. They have all worked incredibly hard. I'm so proud of them all. Um, and thank you for every single person that has tuned in, purchased, come and said hi and come for some inspiration. Item number 100358. Lovely, lovely collection. Really, really affordable. 27.55 in the club. Now that's an amazing price, just simply for those stamp sets, two A5 stamp sets. You also get the bonus of that MDF embellishment. So you can add them onto tags, toppers, put them round a glass on a chain, add your sparkle paste on top, make them sparkly if you want to, add some words, be really creative. I am gonna twist these around so you can actually see. So on here, we've got time to celebrate. Time is the most precious gift. I love uplifting sentiments. That one, she nailed it. It's five o'clock somewhere. Happy hour and celebrate. I like this one with the umbrella. This is a Carly. Carly stamp wherever I've seen it. There we go. I love, love, love this stamp. Think about the sparkly um, sort of juicified drink you could pop in there. A mojito, you know, a uh, sex on the beach. Am I allowed to say that? I'm sure I am. It is a cocktail. And then you get your beautiful wooden embellishments as well. So you have the sort of straw and those glasses. And then on the other one here, we have the beautiful clocks and the words. I will show you a couple of samples actually, we've got a whole pile of here. I think it's fair to say the design team have thoroughly enjoyed creating with these today. Now this was the most popular earlier in the show today, 100358. If you are in the club, 2755, oops it is it, 2755, but if you do have that point system going on in the background just bubbling away, then you know that you are going to be able to get those extra savings as well. We have had an incredible day today. I'm super proud of everything that's gone on today. We have had no problems at all. Can you believe it? Am I speaking too soon? Because we have still one more show to go. Um, but it's been be uh, just an amazing day. Time to celebrate. There we go. A handful of samples there for you. So the item number for that one, 100358. You're going to be able to use them with your pens, your pencils, your goosh, your gouache, your watercolours, everything that we've had in show today. I do encourage you to check out all of today's shows because there's been an eclectic mix of so many different products. I'm sure you're going to have fun running through the shows if you have been at work. So let's move on to the second item that I have popped in the count on the counter. My apologies, I did give you the wrong code for that one. I'm reading from my sheet and I did say that I had changed it. So I have changed it to the lovely clock on there and it is 100361. My apologies, gave you the wrong code for ending in 361. I'm a goody keeper. Next item on the counter is your bundle of four stencils, okay? So do check out the other items. There are stamps and other MDF bundles on there, but I'm going to jump straight to this amazing stencil bundle here. So you get the four stencils, circles, 
lines, stars, and like a geometric triangle at the base there. Helen did demonstrate this one earlier. She's going to have a little bit of fun with this one as well in this show. 100362, pound fifty for all four of those stencils. They work seamlessly with the pastes, but if you have pastes at home, you know we are a channel where we support all of you who have craft at home and need to use them. So there we go. Use what you have in your stash if you already have those pastes. 100362, £11.50. HTCM price 10.93 if you are in the club. Moving down the counter. We've only got four items on the counter this evening and I've picked what I felt were knockouts. So I have some MDF embellishments here. So quite big actually. So we have some super large hearts. Now you think about the flowers that I've been in shows today. These are big, really big. So pattern papers, flower embellishments. You could even use the smaller embellishments from the collections that are in the other collections. We have some down further. There's 22 pieces in this one. Um, we have circles, which are like coasters. So you could do these like those trading coins if you wanted to get those stamps on there. There are six of those. Then we have the squares absolutely gorgeous so you could create the tile effect to design on there then we have the two hangers so if you're wanting to create bedroom hangers do not disturb keep out of the fridge all of the good stuff but equally you could pop some lovely magnets on the back of there as well and adhere them to a project so the person who receives it can remove it and keep it as a gift and then we have the sort of wall hanging elements here where you can pop that sort of chain design through twine ribbon Put something, if you like, to freehand write, papers, flowers, embellishments, all of that. And then we have two further ones, plain ones, which can act as toppers if you want to. Or maybe just use them as an MDF embellishment. So much scope there. 22 pieces in that one. 11.39. 11.39, is that right? 11.39, 22 pieces. 100364. Leone's probably throwing a slipper at Telegram. Tony, that's wrong. It is right, I'm sure. 133. 100364 for those embellishments. Now, I'm going to talk about the star of the show. And the reason I say it's the star of the show is because it's where Leone started. Okay, it's the glitter paste. And I just wish we had more of this. And when she comes back, I'm going to say, I want more. I want more because these are fantastic. Fast drying, beautiful colours, super sparkly. And she's put a beautiful kit together for you today, which is going to get you going straight from the mark. So you have your tool to put the paste through. And we have our tape to adhere those stencils down if you want to run that paste through those stencils. You have a green, a blue, a whitey silver, a shade of pink, a purple, and a beautiful soft peach orange tone. Now, Helen is gonna talk through these in a little bit more detail, but they are fabulous. We have had these in our store for years. They never, never change. They're just an incredible piece of uh, media that's gonna go through those stencils like Butter, they are amazing. 100363, £20.90 for all of those colours. Now, if you're not au fait with um, Glitz Craft, this is where it was born. They have lots of colours, lots of different types and designs. I encourage you to check out their website too because they've got so much going on. But equally, if you are brand new and you're just touching your toe with the Glitz Craft, I would start with the glitter paste because it's going to get you going straight away. You're going to be hooked from there on. So let's say hello to our lovely guest, Helen. Bless her little heart. Hello. Has worked relentless for the last couple oh, of days, travelling up and down the country, numerous shows for me, numerous shows here today, and presenting two shows on the bounce. So thank you so much. No problem. What are we going to do? So first of all, um, I, I'm going to use some of those stamp sets, but I just want to kind of talk about, I think Tony touched on there, the star of the show, if you will, is this beautiful set of glitter paste. So I want to talk you through it first in case you've never seen this before and how it kind of works, show you a very quick demo of how this is going to look when you get them home. So when you get your pot, I will recommend when you open these up, just make sure before you close it, make sure that you haven't got any bits or anything around the um, sort of groove here and that will make sure that it closes tight and you don't get any air in. Now you'll see here, this is absolutely jam-packed with glitter, with the liquid itself, amazing. So here we go with, this is our, this is our light green that you get in the collection. Again, the, the colours we've got, you're going to get all of these. And how it works, you can see how this is sort of quite pale in colour. But what happens is they make this all in-house 
um, the glue inside is going to dry and once that glue dries that glitter is going to pop through on your card so it's going to look absolutely stunning now i would recommend that you don't need a lot of this so this pot is going to take you a long way you're going to get to use a lot of it on all your different um sort of mediums if you're in, if you're getting that mdf it goes on the mdf using those stencils it can literally go straight onto a card blank if you want it to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just sort of start give you a little bit of a show how it works um, i'm not going to do like the full card or anything but just give you an idea of how this will work when you get it home remember these stencils are wiped clean so if you're using the glitter pastes i would recommend putting them into some water to clean them off but also you can use your inks, your other pastes that you have. These will work perfectly. Now, I would recommend using the tape if you want to, but I'm also going to use my Eureka to just hold my stencil down. Um, so whichever way works for you personally. So it's really strong on there. Helen, we've got some lovely comments oh, through, coming fabulous. through. Fabulous. Saying, Helen, you have been an absolute star oh, today. Oh, thank you. So um, when you take the glitter paste here, you'll see here that I haven't taken a lot on my palette knife which again the palette knife comes into the collection as well you do not need a lot in fact what i would say is less is definitely more now if you can kind of see that noise it's making as the palette knife is sort of scratching over the top of the paste if you can put butter onto toast you can absolutely <laughs> use this because it's the same it, kind of action absolutely and as you can see i'm scraping it off i still haven't taken very much out of the pot, a pea-sized amount, making sure I get all use of that before I go back to my pot. So do not waste any, do not leave any on or anything like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit more, another pea-sized amount, and just add that to some of the stars down here. When you've got these slightly wide open spaces, I would give you a little tip that kind of pat it down as you go to make sure that you get full coverage. But I've deliberately sort of left some gaps because what I want to do is I'm going to close my pot. You can see I'm closing it up. I'm going to just take some kitchen roll that I've got down here and um, take that excess off because I don't want to contaminate my next pot with that colour. And then I'm going to go in and this is my silver. And again, as I say, you get these all in the collection. Pea-sized amount again. Now, you can absolutely go over the top of all of it. But like I say, I just want to give you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. And what you'll see is not only do you get that beautiful coverage, but you kind of get that mixture of the green and the silver together. And it really gives it that beautiful sparkle. Helen, so. would you say the colours stay true to what you see in the pot? So um, if, if I'm completely honest with you, Tony, they actually get brighter. Okay. Absolutely. Because you've got that glue already on board, when that glue dries, it's going to get even more sort of glittery and beautiful. Now, as I say, I'm not covering the whole thing, but let's just show you what happens when you start to let this dry. Now, it takes about um, sort of three to five minutes to dry naturally, um, you know, in the air. So if you're creating quite a few different cards, you can pop them to the side, leave them to dry, no problem. But what I would recommend is taking your stencil off oh my gosh. and leaving it in, putting it into some water. Okay, you can see there's a plate. I'm just covering a little bit. This wasn't the idea to cover the whole thing. That wasn't the idea here. But take your stencil and pop it into some water to clean that off. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got a heat gun here. I cannot stress enough, this is not embossing powder, okay? You do not need the heat gun to allow it to dry. This is purely to speed that process up so that you can see those colours really starting to pop. And actually, in the, the warmth of the studio here, it's already starting to shine. So let's just, I mean, let me just move this off my magnetic sheet here. Take it over. I'm going to pop it down and I'm just going to pop some heat on. Again, like I say, this isn't even like embossing powder, so I don't have to worry that the gun's not boiling hot. But you'll see there, already, wow, look at the change in the colour. You've got that beautiful oh, yes. glitter already coming through. So what happens then, Helen, is the glue has like a liquidy, milky colour. Absolutely. But it disperses, doesn't it? Exactly. So that glue dries clear. clear. And then what you see, when it dries clear, what you see is the sparkle coming through. So I just want to show you, here we go. Again, like I said, this is, I'm not sitting here saying this is a card that you necessarily want to make, but I just want to show you how beautiful. Look at the That's shine magical. on that. That is so Now good. think about it, I've just used pieces of that stencil and I still think if you just popped a little sentiment down here, that's actually a card done, to be fair. I was saying it was just to show you what it looks like, but actually I kind of like it. 
Um, so it looks really gorgeous. Now there he is on white, beautiful. They are light colors, the light green, the silver, and it looks stunning. And Tony touched on it earlier that I did do um, one of the other stencils in the previous show. And I just wanna show you that no matter what color you're putting it on, whether you're putting it on black or whether you're putting it on the white or any other colors, this is gonna shine through. You can absolutely use this on glass. You can use it on material, acetate. I've put it on a candle before. Wouldn't recommend lighting the candle, just decoration. I've also um, put it on slate. You know, you get those slate hearts and things. So think about the stuff you've already got in your stash that you can be putting this glitter paste on. And what I love about it, it's really quick, it's really easy and it looks stunning when you're finished. And that's what we want from our crafts. That is amazing. And those Fabulous. colours that you've seen on those card stocks are what are absolutely in that bundle. Now, the bundle um, is now limited stock, okay? So you get your six pots of that glitter paste, limited stock, okay? Item number 100363. Do not run the risk of losing those because we will be moving on to something else when we have our next brand event. If you are collecting these and don't have those colours, that is your 630ml glitter paste, a palette knife and that stencil tape. Now, when Leona does her stencil, she always tapes it down. As you all know, that's where she started. She's the queen of all of this. And you can catch her on her social media pages and over on her website as well. But equally, Helen has just showed you there that if you just want to pop some paste through a stencil quick and get texture and sparkle, you can absolutely do that on white and on black. 100. 100363. So that is those lovely, lovely pastes. Now, before whilst Helen's just getting ready for another demonstration, I just want to touch on the stencils because it's the stars that Helen just used there. 100362. Now you do get all four. It's not a sort of pick and mix. It's all four. £11.50 for all four of those stencils. They're a great size as well. They're not minuscule and they're not huge. So if you do like your smaller cards, this is absolutely perfect. It's going to give you that coverage. So you have the stars, the stripes, the geometric triangles and those circle sort of halo designs. Equally, we've used them with paste in this show, but use them with your colours, use them with your pearly winks. Easy blends if you want to, use them with your oxide, whatever you have in your stash. They're going to work. Great background fillers too. 100362. If you are in a club, £10.93. Shop ahead. Check out your basket. When you see your basket, check out those savings because you'll all be saving different savings for every time you come and shop with us at the How to Craft Network. Looks like Helen's ready. What we're doing next? Um, we're going to have a look at that beautiful collection with the um, the out of the, the glasses and all those beautiful okay. cherries and lemons. I just want to say, I'm just having a look at the messages and everyone's saying some really lovely things, so thank <laughs> you for that. But I also want to answer Anne's question. So Anne says, does the glitter come off the stencil easy? I want to let you know that it absolutely does. I can recommend a little plastic pot with a bit of lukewarm water in. As soon as you're finished, stick that on. And even if you have to use your finger a little bit to rub it off, it comes off really easy. I just want to make sure that you know, don't, don't leave the stencil sitting around. It's best to do it straight away. So I always, when I'm doing my glitter um, pasting, I like to just have a little one next to it. It doesn't just have to be one stencil in the pot. You can stick multiples on top of it as well. So it really does come off easy. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little bit of paper piecing. So this is our um, collection. Um, it's five o'clock somewhere, love that. Happy hour, celebrate. And this, this celebrate is absolutely gorgeous. A really large stamp. And think about all the things that you might already have in your stash that this is going to work with. And then I love these glasses as well. Um, you could colour these. You could also uh, paper piece, maybe with some glitter card or something. That would look really stunning. So I've just got some VersaFine ink and I'm going to stamp onto some white stamping card very easily with this gorgeous umbrella. And again, this is the umbrella to go into um, your, your glass. But equally, it could be an umbrella for a card with rain. It could also be an umbrella that you put out when you're at the beach. So it's extremely versatile in that way. Then I'm going to take that one off. I've just had um, an idea, Helen. You oh, know the on. circles in the stencils could maybe make a mini rainbow? Oh, you could. That would be cool. If you did a little mini rainbow with the circles and then pop the brolly on, maybe? Nice. I like that idea. I don't know if I'm going to get to it. Um, you know, I've got demos as well that we may not get to see. But also, I use those circles as bubbles in the scene. Yeah. Um, you know, and the stars would also be beautiful if you were going to use those door hangers in the media collection. You could do the stars as sort of the night time as well. You could stencil those on. Um, so then I've got this, um, this pattern paper. 
and I'm just going to move my Eureka aside and I'm going to fussy cut these two umbrellas. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take the stick off of this one and just fussy cut the umbrella. So don't think, oh, Helen, you've just cut through the stick. No, it's completely deliberate. I'm trying to get as close <laughs> as possible. Don't worry, I haven't just gone, oh, no. It's one of those that. umbrellas that have the thing that goes on your head. Oh, to stop the rain. Yeah, because some umbrellas you can attach to your head, can't you, rather you than can. with a stick. So we'll just pretend it's one of them for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, there's always a way. There's always a way if you make some massive error that you didn't mean to do in crafting, turn it into an umbrella that you wear on your head. Absolutely. Love it. So if you've got any questions for Helen, this is her last show. She will be on it the road is. with her lovely mother. After this show, she's had a quite a few epic days as well. So make sure you get any questions in today. But as always, you know that you can catch Helen on a social media page. She's got lots going on. She's got fingers in lots of pies. <laughs> right. So very simply, I just cut that away. This one, I'm going to just do the same. Again, like I say, I'm just doing it very fussy, really quick to get that away. And then what I've done here in a moment is I've taken that beautiful lemon. Now, I think it's a lemon, okay, but also equally it could be a lime or a slice of orange. So depending on mixing up the colours, you can absolutely do that. Can I also say what I think is fantastic, if you're buying on the show today and you're going with that mixed media collection with the hearts and the circles and all that sort of thing inside, think about you like the themes, but maybe you don't, you know, you want to use the stamping on your card making, but you don't want to use the wood pieces on your card making. They can absolutely transfer to the mixed media section. You don't have to use them all together. It's just a beautiful theme that runs through the stamps and through those beautiful MDF pieces. Right, so I've got my little umbrella here. I'm sorry, whilst you're just putting that umbrella, yeah. I've just had a great idea. I'm just, oh, go on then. Leonie will be like, oh God, she's opening everything. She's ruining Ooh. my set. You see these beautiful embellishments here? Yes. They have some like leaves and flower embellishments and oh, they're going to pop out. And the words as well. Think about maybe covering this in your patterned papers in your beautiful pattern papers and then building like a corner embellishment with these from that other stamp set. Oh, nice. So, you know, maybe a flower and a sort of a flow, foliage design around there. Paint them up with your glitter paste. They'd be super sparkly. You've got the words in there too. So it's just to show you that the, the stamp and MDF bundle will work with this 22 piece collection as well. So this is like your base. This collection is your base. So you're going to have um, an ornament to decorate and these are your decorative embellishments which come across the board in all of the collections Leonie's put together for you. So this one is floral. We have some sea animals. We have some gnomes and there are also some Christmas embellishments on the website as well. So do check out the other items that are in the show. Shop the show at the side of this live video. Perfect. I, I think you're completely right. Using all of those different elements on different projects is a really great idea. Um, now I've taken, as I said, could be a lime, could be a lemon, could be an orange slice. And I'm just adding a little bit of colour down with my gossip um, alcohol markers here. Just to show you how simple it is to use these beautiful pens and these beautiful... I love the fact um, these beautiful stamps are really easy to colour in because you've got all that beautiful detail. So you don't even need to worry about light and shade if you don't want to uh, because that detail shines through. I love the little citrus look. I think it's stunning. I think this is to go, and I believe that's a mojito. I think it's to go <laughs> with the mojito. But equally, you know, if okay. you're just making a spring, a summer card as well. Helen, just... I think we're going to have to be careful. The boss is watching. Oh, about the alcohol? No. Oh. Leonie's on. Oh, she's on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did What's we, she saying? Did, I don't know. Did we say anything we shouldn't have? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you, sweetheart having a fantastic show thank you for your amazing products we've got lots of um lovely lovely comments um helen you're gonna have to go back when you get a second and, i know and have a read of what everybody's putting we've got amazing show amazing products oh, enjoyed the you. day it's just amazing those pastes though my gosh if you have them in your basket check out and if you're waiting for the pearly wink show after this then just add to previous order don't take the risk of losing out on those pastes Right, so I'm just going to bring in one of those other stamps. This is one of the sentiments that you get on board. And I'm just going to take our happy hour and stamp onto a piece of card. And then I'm just going to build the card we've made. 
Um, I've also got, can I just pre-warn you all, I've also got messy fingers from the ink. So I'm hoping, which always happens to me, I'm hoping I don't get little fingerprints on my piece of card. But can I recommend, if you do, uh, use an electric uh, rubber. You can buy them really easily, really cheaply. And that will help you get ink when you make a little mark on your card. Did you know that yeah. I'm doing an electric eraser? Is that why I said it? Are you? <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Are you really? Part, part of my 2022 tools. Is it? Yes. How weird is that? I always she use the really. electric eraser to get off because I'm really messy. I always use them Did to you? get off finger marks all the time. All the time. Look at that. I, I so what you're saying you, is I, I don't need to buy any replacements. Yeah, I promise you I didn't tell her. That's why I asked the question because so I'm thinking, funny. has she seen something in this building she shouldn't no. have seen? <laughs> I've been looking where I'm not supposed to. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Oh. Oh, this is oh. going to be a beautiful card, a great Thank gents you. card. <laughs> if you know anybody who likes alcohol, yeah, me, it's going to be amazing. I'm making it for myself. <laughs> so there we go. We've got that um, just by a paper piecing that beautiful colour. It kind of runs through. And what I've done is I kind of mixed it up. We've got the um, the pattern sort of several different ways on the card. I just kind of like that when you kind of mix up a pattern and make it look like something slightly different but it's completely up to you what you want to do. But I think that these, I mean, I think the glasses are fantastic, the mojitos, all of that really gorgeous, but I love those lemons. That is definitely, or limes or oranges, as I said, but that's definitely a stamp that I'm going to be using over and over again, because I think it's just one of those things that makes you smile when you yeah. look at that. It kind of reminds us of summer. So the pastes are water-based as well, so you can add more water yes. to paint with them. Yeah, absolutely, you can. And if you, um, you know, if you find that you need to, um, that, like, say you accidentally left the lid off or something like that, which absolutely does happen, you can add a little bit of water, mix them up, and you can reactivate them. Absolutely, you can because of them being water based. But there we go with that card. Really simple. A little bit of paper piecing, a little bit of alcohol markers, and you can make something really stunning. I love these stamps so much. I love the sort of simplistic nature, but also you've got that beautiful detail. They card really of the do day. make you smile. Card of the day, that one oh, today, thanks. Right? It is the happy hour right now. It is. <laughs> Although, well, you're not driving, so it's all good. No, absolutely not. So the items that Helen just used in that fabulous demonstration was the first bundle with those beautiful sort of cocktails and the lemons and limes and the umbrellas, and you get the coordinated, well, I wouldn't say coordinating, probably more complementing MDF shapes, which then you can use as toppers, tags. You can seal an envelope with them just to add that extra special touch, add them around the base of a glass if you wanted to, and you can put your paste onto them as well. They're really, really creative. It's a whole collection that's gonna see you probably through from start to finish. So the item number for this collection is, which one did I say? Number four, 100363. So that 20, sorry, that is your paste. My apologies, 100361. And 2755 in the club. But if you have that 20% discount, which I know a lot of you have in from accruing your points, you think about 20% of 27. 55. Incredible, incredible savings. Two A5 stamp sets and two co complementing MDF shape boards there that just simply pop out and you can be creative with your colour. Now, also the paste I think has possibly gone, but please check out the website throughout the evening. All of the stock is loaded on the system for seven days, okay? So sometimes items do pop out of people's baskets as well. So if it's not there now, it might um, pop up later or maybe tomorrow because people have them sat in their baskets. But equally, shop the whole of today. We have had some amazing products today. Leone, um, Pearly Winks, Funky Fossil this morning. Thirsty Brush with all of those beautiful journals. So much to go at. I don't know how you've chosen the products today because I would really, really struggle. So I think we're just going to do one little more thing. Are we? Little, is it? Is We've it not little? got a lot of time. Let's, um, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see how far we let's get. Let's see how we... Oh, I'm getting the nod. You're OK. OK, cool. So I've got this um, MDF shape here, um, which is one of the ones that you get in that collection. Now, I, um, you do not need to prime the MDF if you don't want to. You can absolutely go straight onto it. If you saw my previous show, I painted straight on with um, acrylic paint and with some gossip sparkle pens. But I've just done a white background because of what I'm about to do. Now, I have some eyes ink sprays here, and I'm just going to add a little bit of spray. You can see how dirty my, my pot is, but I kind of love it like that. 
kind of makes me smile when I see all these colors. I'm just gonna go in with the eyes ink sprays, which should be on the website, and just add a little bit of color down. There we go. Ooh, lovely. We have every color of eyes ink. We have all eyes ink products from every color, every range. Check out the website for those. All you need to do is pop eyes ink into the search engine. So I'm just gonna quickly pop some heat on because I also want to um, add a little bit of one of those stencils. So just give me a second while I allow that to dry. Helen, will you do, is, are you using the large heart? This is the large heart, absolutely. Can you have a pop it on my mat in the corner and just see what size it is? Can yeah, you see at the bottom of my mat? I've got another one here. Let's yeah, what look. size is it? Just so um, our lovely viewers know exactly what size so it is. is. Approximately. Is this it's, inches, yeah, yeah, along here? So this is just slightly over seven inches in width and... Uh, seven inches, so basically seven by seven. That's good size, yeah. absolutely amazing value. Thank you, Helen. Yeah, I think as well, you've got, with, a, with well, something like this, you've got scope for really sort of doing some beautiful things, um, which I love, because it's a nice size. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with that striped, um, that striped stencil that we've got. Now, I am not gonna tape it down because I'm not worried about it moving or anything. I just wanna sort of create some texture. So we're just going to put some texture on. I'm not even going to be that precise about it where I put it. I just want to create a little bit of texture. And also what's quite funny is when you put it down, you'll find, it, particularly if you're doing it like this, sort of freehand going crazy, you'll find that actually the paste you put on is going to hold it down. It's not going to move. So you don't need to worry too much. Um, so we'll put some of that beautiful purple on to mix with the pink that we've got. We'll wipe it off again, like I say, Take, wipe off your uh, palette knife to get away the excess because you don't want to contaminate your pot. And then go. we're going to go in with a little bit of the green and we're going to let them sort of mix and play together as well. Stripes are an absolute must, aren't they, Helen? In yeah. everything, in a stamp format, stencil format, they are an absolute must, must of stripes. They're brilliant for all genres, all celebratories, all gents female, whatever it may be, stripes are just a great go-to. I've just put this like this, Helen. I'll just quickly show you. Oh, I like so that. So if you have pattern papers painted with a stencil, family photograph, um, stamped picture here, coloured, watercoloured, anything like that, maybe pop a magnet on the back of this front one so this can stick on the fridge if you want to. But it just shows you that the embellishments work well together. They don't have to be used as components on their own. Build your own sort of creative gift if you want to i'm just i just love this collection it's so affordable 22 22 elements so i just um dried that off i just want to show you again before i move on the absolute shine that you get from those glitter pastes is really gorgeous Aww. look at how it shines it's just fantastic again just a little bit of a pop there on the side of the heart not being too particular about how i put it on because i wanted to get that sort of slightly distressed look and then what I've got here is a few of those embellishments that you get in that collection. Mm -hmm. Again, I was talking to you, if you like the theme, but you're thinking not necessarily, what you, I mean, you can, but maybe you don't want to put the stamps um, together with the MDF. Maybe you want to use them. So think about picking up that MDF collection and then using um, the stamps that you like for your cards and things like that. And then moving on and using these embellishments in um, your sort of mixed media projects. Equally, though, I do love when you've got um, when you've got a bit of wood and things on your cards. Oh, Come on. what are you using there, sweetheart? Sparkle pen? Yeah, this gossip. is a sparkle, gossip sparkle pen because, as you can see here, I'll just move that over while I'm painting this one, you can see here what a beautiful shine. And again, I talked to you a little bit about the fact that I'd put the white on the heart, but you do not need to prime this wood at all. It all goes like that. And what I love about this, um, Tony, is that this is all made in-house. It's a family-run business. You know, they do it all together. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, three generations, father, daughter, and now uh, Leona's son as well. Proper family-run business, which we love, right? It's just perfect. So very simply, not hard to do with the beautiful brush of my gossip pen here. One zero zero three six four for that MDF collection. Twenty two pieces now limited stock. Eleven thirty nine. Eleven thirty nine for all of those components. And then I've got this happy birthday, which I believe. Oh gosh, I believe it's from the uh, the gnome collection. Um, sorry, don't quote me. I can't remember now, but I think it's from which should be on the website. It won't be out with us at the moment. 
but absolutely you can pick these up and i'm just not i'm gonna i'm not gonna paint that one i want to keep it with the beautiful mdf brown um, but then i'm gonna bring in my two leaves here and what i've got is a beautiful flower that you also get in that collection now i'm doing it you know i would absolutely if i was at home i'd be building this up creating layers and things like that but i just want to show you how easy it is to create beautiful pieces of home decor just with uh, you know mediums that you've already got in your stash this mdf takes so much different mediums i love it and then we've got this beautiful rose as well look at the clock so gorgeous absolutely love it and i'm just using a wet glue but you could use um you know you could use your uh, wood glue if you prefer to use um, a glue gun you absolutely can but it's really simple really easy to create with just a few different items and the beautiful mdf pieces we've got in the collections that is so so pretty thank you so much helen so the items that helen has used there the mdf items are part of that stamp and coordinating bundle 100358 27.55 in the club so pretty much all of the items on the counter you all have in your baskets make sure you check them out okay we are coming towards the end of the show so this the um glitter paste has officially gone if you have it in your basket it is allocated please please check out your basket for those glitter paste the item number for that is one zero zero three six three now we are coming to the end of all of today's shows we have one show left which is amazing how on earth did we get through the day you know it's been an amazing day thank you all so much for tuning in but if you do want to shop the rest of the Glitzcraft products they are available in alternative bundles we have a christmas bundle we have some gnomes all included in with those mdf embellishments which complement the stamps as well so please check out those shop the show just a little bit of housekeeping for you so throughout of the whole of today's shows everybody is still showing there as visible you can go and have a look at the previous shows throughout the course of today you can also um mute fast forward rewind if you want to and if you would like to it would be lovely to hear from you underneath those videos as well pop a comment on there have you enjoyed the shows did you enjoy the demonstrations did you enjoy the presenter is it something you would like us to do moving forward uh, do more of although i think i've nearly died preparing for today's events but equally if it has been an absolute success which it has it absolutely has then we will be doing more i know you're all all appreciative of our time so what have we got planned helen like moving forwards have you got anything are you coming back here no <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. do you know what i've got in my i was gonna say rear view that's behind you isn't it what i've got in front of me is a holiday yes so i'm heading off to florida soon so i'm very excited about that but i really have absolutely loved today it's been so wonderful thank you all for your amazing messages and i really hope that we do this really again soon because i have loved it i know i can't wait to get everybody back in the building it's been a hub of hubbub of activity today well that was hard to say <laughs> it is it's getting late so i have one more one show to go and it's the fabulous pearly wink so we will be back you with you with donna and simon with a brand new show last show of the day so whatever you're doing have a lovely evening for the next 15 minutes make sure you come back and say hello i'm also going to be doing a giveaway see you all later guys bye Thank you.